Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to episode one of Party Hard. I'm having to use a second account because I don't want to erase my data. Because you can only have one save game. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna unplug my headset for the cutscene so you can hear. My name is Inspector John West. I was... Take your time, Mr. West. Deep breaths. You want a drink? Whiskey. Hold the rocks. <laughs> Hold the rocks? Hilarious, Mr. West. Fuck you. My name is Inspector John West. I was the officer in command on the Party Hard Killings. Can you describe to me exactly what the Party Hard Killings were? They were a series of murders strung across the U.S. during the autumn break of 2000, exclusively taking place in and around house parties, rooftop parties, cruise parties, you name it. This guy was there, stabbing his way through the crowds. And what was the motive, Mr. West? This guy... He just wanted some peace and quiet. Maybe you should start from the beginning, Inspector. It might give us a better idea of where this all went so wrong. It's a little... This is basically a tutorial. go somewhere. It doesn't matter if it's the center or something. And then you do this. You're like, yeah, I can finally get sleep because I killed children. Amazing, right? Ooh, cussing. One of my officers responded to a call near North Beach. It was the end of April, so typically a bunch of the college kids in the area were getting hammered instead of prepping for their finals. If only the stupid bastards knew. This is the first level of many, many more, as you'll see. In the as you can see, there's a lot to do. Stay away from poison people. Good advice that that gives you. All right. I'm just gonna. And you also want to dispose of the bodies. That's another thing that you will want to do. I mean, if you don't, it's not a big deal, but it's highly recommended that you hide the bodies. Because if you don't hide the bodies and somebody spots one of them, then the cops will come, and that's not fun. Oh dang! I killed everybody in the room, including the two people who were farthest away from. Me. Yeah, see, they're calling the cops. And you also want to make sure you're not in the road when that happens, or you'll die. And if you see those little, like, uh, the, like, way it is, those are also lines of visions that they can see you through. So, keep in mind, people can see you through windows. And don't stand behind cars either, because they back up before they move off. Kind of like a double kill, just to make sure that they're dead. Um, you can make phone calls, but... Normally that just attracts more people, and that's the opposite of what you want, because you want people to die, so... You can... You know what, I might as well just show the controls. Yeah, L2 is listen, slash, show the traps, R2 sprint, R1 use item, triangle use trap, 
Circle, pick up body, X, dance, square kill, and then move. Ooh. Yes, he, uh, you hold down X, he can dance. And it can distract people from crowds. It helps. Um, I can't really hide the body. Better hope nobody uses the bathroom there. Probably climb out. Yeah, you can also stab lovers for a quick kill. Yeah, see, I already have 23 out of 53 people killed. Sometimes these levels can take a while, sometimes they can't. It all really just depends. No, do not come in here. Frick. It's okay, I have a window exit. <laughs> Got out of there right as it is burning. Oh yeah, if you use exits to get rid of cops, you see the guy dressed as Mario? He will come and he will patch up those exits so that you can't use him again. And if you try to kill him, he beats the crap out of you. So don't. Take my advice. I... Dang it. Oh well. Might as well just kill this person. And this person. And I can't get away with that guy. Out in the open. Ah, I can get this chick though. No. Okay, that chick did not care. That guy did not care that there was a dead body. Okay, seems legit. Alright, got a bunch of people taken care of there. Two quick murders. Nice. I didn't get spotted near that. Frick, I did. Alright, you. whenever you see the handcuffs over your head, that means you have to run. Like, if you don't run, you're gonna die. Crap, Mario. Mario, don't patch up my exit. Dang it. I don't think I have any other exits. No, I don't. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck here. Perfect. Go in the murder room. a dead person? Oh, okay. I think it... Okay, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> Alright, in order to attract all these people away from the dance floor, you're gonna want to dance so that they run away. Like that. No! Oh no, uh, I think I might be screwed now. Give me, give me item, give me item, fast! Officer, it's all a misunderstanding, I didn't do it! Dang it. Ugh. And if you get caught by the cops, you... You, you, you just... Ugh. Ooh, new traps. Of course, the majestic bees don't treat them with respect. Oh, 
I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's right. I didn't check. And nobody gets on to you for using it, so that's a perk. <laughs> and the psycho theme plays whenever you stab someone in the bathroom over there by the tub. <laughs> They're like, officers, you need to see this terrible crime. She just went in there and fell asleep. In a bathroom where people just got but there was a dead person she didn't care darn it the horse is tame now please kill the cop dang it i thought i would kill the cop Frick, i really want to yes Okay, I can't stab that chick because too many people. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna carry this guy into the bathroom and stab him. Cause that's always fun. Oh yeah, and you also don't want to be close to traps when they go off. Otherwise people will suspect you. Murder. Yes, go in there, go in there. Yes, very smart. No, yes, leave. No, I didn't do anything. Oh, that was so close. Alright. That was so close. No, I didn't do anything. Yes. I am smart. I escaped the cops by killing him. Makes much more sense, am I right? Seems like most of everybody's off the dance floor though, so that might be just a quick, just a quick sweep at that point. Ooh, I can. I think I can get this guy and that chick right now, if I hurry. Yes. And... Dang it! Didn't work. Oh my god! <laughs> I almost got run over. There's a bear trap. That's gonna be helpful for escaping the cops. Oh. See, now... Now it's just... Now it's simple. It's so simple that it's hard to lose. Alright, yes. And once this person comes in here... Stab him. No cops. Alright. I'm gonna regain my stamina, actually. Yes, and then just stab the DJ. Yeah, this is fun. See, I did it. Second try. Doesn't really matter how many points you get either. Barbecue party annihilated in five minutes. That's actually you not arrived that bad. at the scene after the assailant had fled. Correct. A little after three a.m. Yeah. 
Were you aware of his current mental state at the time, Mr. West? His mental state? His confusion, the blood dripping from his hands, like someone else was driving him forward, yet a bright light leading him onwards. I heard that bright light, as you so eloquently put it, was just a bunch of biker trash scumbags in search of lost souls. Guess he must have hitched a ride with them somehow. Perhaps it was when they realized that the party was already dead. Excuse the pun. Speaking of dead, wasn't your daughter Katie at that party, Mr. West? Seeing her blood zigzagging between those bathroom tiles, it was like a sledgehammer using my stomach as a welcome mat, drowning without water. Jesus, she was so messed up that I couldn't even ID the body. Yeah, that's a little bit of a deeper story. And there you can see how many levels there really are, and how big the map is, where you'll be going for all of these levels. So yeah, as you can see, we're just going a little bit across the state, and there are multiple heroes as well. Just going a little ways across the state of California right now, to the biker party. And here we're gonna murder some more people. Alright. First things first, what I wanna do though. Oh god, I ran over myself. Alright, there. Got five people taken care of. the chickens as traps? No. Yes, there's still this. It's like a getaway inside. I might as well start a fire. Burn the evidence. No, I didn't do anything, officer. No, I I, I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I killed myself. There's a difference between getting busted and killing yourself. Oh my god. No, no way. There's a bull. Can I can I get it to do what I think I can? Oh my god, yes! Oh crap! That was fast. Okay, let's restart. We could potentially do two levels in this episode. I'm not sure. The bull's back, yes. Dang it, I can't go around that way. That the sound of like Sims talk. Like rabbit out of the bar, daughter, bad out of Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, I just got like 10 people with this. I'm not gonna risk using that one, but... Frick! Frick! <laughs> How? How? I didn't even do anything. I just walked up to him. And he's like, oh, hey, you're under arrest, you smuggled. Oh, oh, baby. Is that what all the cool kids are saying? Die. I killed somebody, but not the person I wanted to kill. Oh my god, everybody's drunk. Everybody's been poisoned. You die, and you die. <laughs> Yes, arrest him, officers. He's the culprit who did this mess. No, why is everybody leaving this room as soon as I decide to set it on fire? Everybody left as soon as I decided to set it on fire. Are you serious? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, I swear. Silent. I wonder why. All right, I forgot this is a place. Flawless. I saw you. No, you're not. Okay, maybe he is. All right, only ten more people. Thirty-eight over thirty. Nice. Nailed it. Alright. Hey, where are you going? You come back here. I'm gonna murder you whenever the cops are gone. I told you. I'm gonna kill this lone guy over here. Just with the chickens. Whatever I do, I can't screw this up now. Are you serious? Um, as long as I'm not seen in the room, I'm okay. So. Oh, he didn't even call the cops. So we're good. We got two levels in one episode. Oh crap, he beat me up. 
He's angry. This dude's angry. Come on, just, just let, let me stab you. Come on, I just want to do two levels in one, one video. Why must you do this? Yes, two levels, one video. That was actually pretty nice. Two levels in one video, not bad. Only one death for each level, I believe. One fail for each level, which is really good. And just about the same time, too. Five minutes. They took me off the case after what happened with Katie. But let's just say it was keeping up to speed by other means. Once the ranch massacre happened, my colleagues were more than happy to unofficially keep me informed. It seemed obvious to me that this was just the beginning, and I had Las Vegas down as one of the contenders for the next attack. Of course, the problem is that Las Vegas is one hell of a landmass to keep a watchful eye over. The kicker is that he was spotted leaving the scene on a shuttle bus. A goddamn bus! So you're saying the perpetrator was calm, even after what he'd just done? I'm saying this guy was a fucking psycho. Please, Mr. West, try to stay professional. <laughs> you're a funny guy. Either way, I still don't know how he evaded the entire police force descending down on him. It was like the devil was on his side. Alright, in the next episode, we will go ahead and go to the casino. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.